So Nicholas, good ride today, second place. How do you feel about that? Yeah, um, I'm obviously disappointed, but uh, happy as well. The day didn't start as well as I thought, and I was chasing more most of the day. So coming back and then making the finally the right move, I was a bit mixed feelings. <laughs> How did you miss that move? Well, just that uh, you know, um, I was talking to the guys, and yesterday they said it was all grouped up, sprint finish, everything. So I was saying, you know, if the course is rolly, uh, maybe it's better to just kind of. Uh, not put too much energy of, of jumping every everybody and um, I was just you know but then I realized that there was 15 guys ahead and I was uh, uh, and there's a lot of the guys who are there to to win it and I forgot this we were in Ireland and there's no teams chasing and uh, as long as I was in the back the guys were happy in the back with me so uh, I had to make a, a big attack and then hard riding to try and close that over minute gap did that cost you later on in the race when it was down to four? You think that that effort was still in your legs? Obviously, but because you know I felt that when I tried to attack again coming into the finishing lap, the the legs were not responding as well as at the start where I was feeling really strong. Uh, you know I gave uh, I think two or three attacks in the last 20k, and uh, the guys were coming back and closing on on to me straight away, and then I knew that coming into the finish, um, Bramir was quicker than I was and. Probably a bit smarter as well. Coming in, you know, he, he likes those kind of tricky finishes, small groups. Is there anything you could have done differently, or you think that's that's the result for today? No, I could have said, all right, just sit there and try and wait for a sprint. But then I think uh, Irvine was, you know, he he was very 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 strong on the flat, and I was more worried about him than than the other guys. I, I knew uh, Bramier was uh, likes those type of finishes. Um, Philip just showed that he was going great uh, a few days ago, winning the, the, the Stephen Roach Grand Prix. And Martin was, was strong and was like, oh, hard. Who, who's the one to pick, you know? You were 10th last week in the Tour de Suisse. You had said before the race that you wanted to do that to get a top 10. So how does, how does that um, affect your confidence for the Tour? Well, the morale is good now coming into the Tour. Uh, today was a hard race. I did some hard, good work today. And uh, now it's just a question of uh, recovering and getting a few rides before the, the tour. And you know, I mean, uh, I go home tomorrow afternoon and I'm back in the airplane on Wednesday to go up to Belgium, so it's going to go super quick. Obviously, you had a difficult run in last year. You had that crash in the Dauphiné and, and we're on a back foot, so you feel a lot better this time around? Yeah, obviously. You know, uh, things this year uh, were slow picking up and now they're kind of picking up good, and I, I think I should have a good tour, hopefully. Yeah. What do you have in mind in terms of an ambition? It's hard to set. It's going to depend a lot on my time training and how much I lose, and obviously on my climbing. Uh, if I can climb as good as in Tour Swiss and do decent time trials, then I'm, I'll, I'll be. I don't think I'd be too far in, in GC. This year will also be the first time in 20 years since your dad and Sean Kelly rode the Tour that there will be two Irish in the race. You've done Martin, your first cousin, also. So. Um, how does that make you feel that there's going to be two of you in the peloton? Yeah, I'm excited that Dan it, it finally gets a go at the Tour. You know, the Tour is a extra special race. It's very different to any other race. And uh, I think he he, he doesn't realise it until, on, and he will realise it Thursday, especially living in, in, in Belgium. Uh, we know that they, they gather every year for for those big events. And um, you get a quick feeling of the, the atmosphere of the Tour and just realise that the Tour is just cycling again. In the Vuelta before when the two of you rode you were clear on a mountain together do you hope that something like that happens again that there's two of you up the road? It'd be fun but the other way around I think uh, it'd be great if he lets me win that time. <laughs>